Now, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and today I gotta address the huge misunderstanding so many musicians are having. Music is not your product. You're not selling music. I see so many artists, especially brand new, trying to sell music on iTunes for 99 cents or just whatever. But let's start with the facts. In the year 2000, album sales amounted to 13.6 billion, but by the year 2000, that decreased over $10 billion down to $2.12 billion. If you look at the single sales, yes, they've increased in that time, but do they exactly amount for the loss in album sales? I think not. So the question is, why are people releasing more music than ever? If music is no longer a product, what exactly is it? Advertising. But what are you advertising? Think about it this way. People are touring off of mixtapes or albums, free albums, same shit. People are selling merch off of these tours and basically creating entire brands related to those albums, tours, mixtapes, etc, 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 etc. And at the center of it all, the artists. See, record labels recognize this. That's why they created the 360 deal. Back in the day, when they could make all their money from the record labels in the 90s and stuff like that, it was all fine. But then when they realized that now people aren't buying music, they said, we need to get some money from those tours and other aspects of the business because now people decide they like the music, which becomes an entry into liking the artist. And then people support and come out to see that artist, that person that they like, or wear that person's clothes and all those things after those advertisements speak to them. Now this doesn't mean as an artist you shouldn't create quality product and good music. However, what it does mean is from a strategy standpoint, you have to think of your music as a way to get yourself out of obscurity and advertise the fact that you exist for people to then start participating in activities that allow you to actually survive as an artist. Whether it's getting that deal or just buying your merch and tours so you could actually build your own independent, whatever way you're going, your music just is an advertisement to get people liking you and build that community first and foremost. Do I recommend that if you haven't really built any kind of community, haven't released any projects before, but all of a sudden you make one project to put it on iTunes and then just charge 99 cents per track for it? Hell no. Nah. Anything is possible, but nine times out of 10, 9.99999 times out of 10, actually, you're severely hurting your chances of people discovering and hearing your music. That's it. Y'all know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Bam.